Um, are you ready that Erin's gonna lead it? Here. Okay, so just come to a comfortable seated position. And let's just start with massaging our feet a little bit with our uh, hands. So sit up tall and just grab your right foot. The left foot can be bent or it can be straight. And let's just massage underneath the center of your foot. Now, I want to work on the core today. So I want you to notice just while you're sitting up, are you engaging your core? Or are you just kind of slumping over? Nice. And then press underneath your toe mounds. Sorry to show you my stinky feet, but so underneath your toe mounds. Good. And this will help you with standing balance if your toes are more separated. Get the outside edges of your foot. And see, we're sneaking in a little hip opener. And then take your fingers in between your toes. And you can open and close. So there's lots of ways to get to the same kind of issue. And then again, notice what you're doing with your core. Why? Because I was just slumping. <laughs> Nice. And then let's just take your right foot around in a circle. And then the other way. Good job. And then just notice right leg, left leg. So my right leg feels a little bit better. And then bend that left uh, knee. So you're kind of opening just like we do in uh, going towards like we're doing a good hip opener. So just start off and massage the bottom of your foot. So right here in the plantar fascia. And then get to the outside edges. And then maybe go more towards where your toe mounds are. And then create some space between your toes with your hands. And then let's open and close. Elbow in, elbow out, kind of like a wing. Sit up tall, notice your core. Beautiful. Good. And then just make your way into a comfortable seated position. Lift up, so hands on your hips. Lift up your spine, lift up your neck. Good. And then let's just take a moment to come into the space. So as you inhale, notice that you're on the mat. Feel your connection with your glutes and your legs and your feet. And then open your mouth, exhale, release any troubles you have logging in, anything that happened this morning. Good. And then work your way, that grounding up your body. So now from your legs, feel your low back, your core, your hips connected to being here in the space, lift and lengthening your neck and your spine. Open your mouth, exhale, release. And seal your lips. Feel your connection at your legs, up into your core, and then up into your heart center. Spread your chest. Lift and lengthen your neck. Exhale, release. And then grounding from the bottom up, legs, core, heart, and then all the way up in your shoulders and your neck, feeling connected with being here in the space. Seal your lips, exhale, release. And then working from your legs through your core, up into your heart, up into your neck and shoulders, into your mind's eye, going deep inside. Nice. And then exhale. Nice. And so come up with an intention that has to do with noticing your breath, noticing your body, just being present and being here right now. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Good. Lift your heart. Inhale. Take your right hand on the outside of your left leg. Left fingertips behind you. Just turn halfway. Lift and lengthen through your spine. 
Exhale, release. Good. Lift and lengthen through your spine and then turn a little bit farther, keeping your hips pressed on the mat. Tuck your chin. Exhale, release. Good. Come back through center. Walk your right hand out to the side, keeping that left hip pinned to the mat. Bring that left arm up and over. Feel your core, feel your lengthening, and then gaze at your left hand. Take your left hand towards the floor, look at your right hand. Good, inhale, left arm up. Look at your left hand, lengthening through your side body. Good, exhale, look at your right hand. Good, make your way up to seated, lift. Notice the full circumference of your core, so that's front, sides, back. And then walk yourself forward. Good, inhale. Exhale. Maybe rock from side to side, pressing into your hands to create, create that length in your spine. Good, walk it back up. Switch which legs in front. Rooting down into the mat, lift and lengthen your spine. Good, left hand on your right knee, right fingertips behind you. Go just halfway, but lift your heart and lengthen through your spine, lengthen through your neck. And then tuck your chin. Release. Good. Inhale, lengthen. Lift your spine, lift your head and neck. Gaze behind you. Good. Exhale, release. Nice. And then inhale, make your way back to center. And let's make our way onto all fours. So if you have wrist issues, I want you to come onto your fists or you have those little wrist pads, or you can come onto your hands. But I want your hands underneath your shoulders. Good. And we're gonna do shoulder up. So make your belly strong. Lift your heart forward. Good, and then drop your chest. Your arms are straight. And then press away. Yes, perfect, Stella. Drop your chest. Press away. Drop your chest, press away, child's pose. Breathe, surrender to whatever situation you're in today, wherever your body is today, what's working, what's not working. And then come back up, coming onto your fists or onto your hands. So I'm gonna go on my fist with Stella. Backing up your belly, so you engage your belly. Good, and then drop your chest. Pull your chest away. Drop your chest. Pull your chest away. Drop your chest. Pull your chest away. And then lift your right leg. Right knee down, lift your left leg. Left knee down. If you can, walk your hands farther forward, make it a little harder. Good. Bring your chest a little farther forward, uh, Fiona. Lift your right leg. Good, down. Lift your left leg. Nice, press in your hands, Pat. Make your belly strong. Good, down. And then from here, child's pose. Nice. And then let's make our way onto our bellies. Hands next to your chest. Now, if you have low back issues, here's something really important. You want to engage your glutes, so squeeze your glutes, press your pelvis into the floor, and you don't want to go up too high. So just starting with low cobra, lift your gaze a little, squeeze your pelvic floor, lift your heart a little, lift your knees. So that's what you're going to do if you have low back or wrist issues. Or medium cobra, bend your elbows, pull your shoulder blades together. Good. And then press on up. Press the floor away with your fists or with your knuckles. Downward facing dog, or you can always take puppy pose. So pressing the floor away. Come halfway to plank. And then press the floor away. Come to down low. Bend your knees. Make that upside down V. Good. And then press the floor away. Come halfway to plank on your knees or not. 
Good, and then back to down dog. Good, so hug those arms against your body, um, Stella. Hug them against your, use your scapula, yeah. Nice, good. And then we're gonna send your right leg up behind you. Bend your knee, open your hip, good. And then step your right foot to your right hand. So maybe you come onto your knees, step your right foot to your right hand. Good. So these are good for your hips and your back. So press into your right foot, hug your legs together, lengthen through your spine, sweep your arms up. If your shoulders are tight, go a little lower. Nice, inhale, exhale. Press into your feet, inhale. Exhale, good. Left hand on the mat, squeeze that right knee in and turn your chest across your right knee. Hug your legs towards each other. Good. And then reach that right arm up. Lengthen through your spine, lengthen through your neck. Good. Exhale, release, fingertips on the floor, pull that right hip back. And then and straighten that leg and then bend your right knee a little bit and press near your heel. Stretch those hamstrings. Lengthen through your spine. And then come back onto all fours. Okay. And then we're gonna come all the way to the ground again. Good. Hands next to your chest. Good. Hug your elbows against your body and engage the, your sides, engage your back body, and then low cobra, maybe just lift your knees, squeeze your glutes, or medium cobra, come up a little more, but engage your pelvic floor, pull your shoulder blades together, like my fingers in between your shoulders. Good, and then come back up, do puppy pose or downward facing dog. Then come halfway to plank, so you're on your knees or you're not, press the floor away, come back to down dog. Nice. One more time, come halfway to plank. Press the floor away, yes. Good job, Amanda. Nice. And then you're on your knees or not, left leg goes up behind you. Bend your left knee, open your hip. Good, then square your hip. Most of you come onto your knees, otherwise just step your left foot to your left hand, however you get there. Good job. Press into that front foot. Melissa, there's a spider that's coming up your foot. Squeeze that. Squeeze that left foot. Yep, hug, lift your hips, feel your core engage. Nice. And then sweep your arms up. Feel your breath. Inhale. Exhale, just be here. Inhale, exhale, good. Right hand on the mat underneath your right shoulder. Squeeze your legs together before you go anywhere. And then lift and lengthen through your spine. Lift your, your neck, sorry. And then maybe bring that left arm up. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. Good, and then stretch that left hamstring. Pull that left hip back, lengthen through your spine, and then bend your knee and kind of dig that heel in. Really get a nice stretch in the back of your left hamstring. Nice. And then come forward. Good. Make your way onto your belly. And then let's come on to our forearms. Good, so press. We're just gonna go up to our knees for the first two because I want you to really feel your belly engage. So we're gonna do cat cow on our forearms. So press in your hands and your elbows and then just lift your hips and really pull up and in on your low belly like you're doing cat cow. And then come back down, pull your heart through. Nice. And then lift your hips like you're doing cat-cow. Pull, pull, pull it in. Press in your forearms, feel your shoulders get broad. Good, exhale, come on down. Pull your heart through. And then this third time, you can go all the way up and lift your knees, but not till you feel that engagement. So 
Claw the mat. Pull your low belly in. And then maybe lift your knees. But feel your shoulders broadening. Gaze at your thumbs. Be aware of your neck, lengthen your neck. And then knees down, hips down. Pull your heart through. Chin to the mat, hands next to your chest. Hug your elbows in. And then just lift your gaze a little, lift your knees, engage your glutes. Or go a little higher. Pull your shoulder blades down your back, engage your glutes, protect your low back. And then down facing all of our puppy pose. Just take a moment and breathe. So come a little bit forward and towards plank, press the mat away. Beautiful. See if you can pedal your legs, pull your low belly towards the floor. Nice. And then look forward, step to the front of the mat. Come to flat back. So hands on your knees, get that same lengthening. Lengthen through your spine. So pull your chest through, pull your neck forward. Good. And then make sure your feet are wide enough. We're gonna come into Amalasana. So take your feet out to the side. Nice. And if you can't go really low, that's okay. I don't want you to hurt your knees. Good. And then exhale, come to flat back. Nice. And then fold. Grab the on your neck. Go to the right. Go to the left. Good. Press in your feet and sweep your arms up. Power up your legs. Lift your heart. Hands to your heart. Nice. Half salutation. One more malasana. So press in your feet, power up your legs, lift your arms up. Good. Exhale, fold. So get a forward fold, stretching the backs of your hamstrings. Make sure you bend your knees a lot if you have tight hamstrings or low back issues. Good, so top of your head faces the mat. Good. Inhale, flat back, hands on your knees. Come forward like you're doing warrior three. Or engage your belly. Good, and then take your feet wide out to the side and do malasana. Nice, good job. Breathe, just be here. Nice. And then inhale, come back to flat back. Exhale, pull your low belly in and fold. Inhale, sweep your arms up. Exhale, hands to your heart. Good. Step your right leg back and your left leg forward for crescent lunge. If that's not going to work for you, do warrior one. I want you to push that right hip forward and pull that left hip back. Hands on your hips, lengthen through your spine, feel all that core engagement. Good, and then inhale, arms up. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Good. Bring your right foot in. Take your arms behind you, interlace your thumbs, good. And then pull your heart forward. Bring your chest towards your left leg. And then release your hands onto your left shin. Press into the off that back foot and come a little bit more forward. Nice, hands to the mat. Come back to downward facing dog. And then come forward to plank. Come onto your knees, all the way down to the ground. And then take your hands behind you, facing up like a cape, and lift your chest and your legs and your arms like you're super long. Five. Four, three, two, one. And then hands out in front of you, bend your knees, turn your head to the right. So now we're strengthening our back of our core, our upper back. Nice. And then let's try that again. So start with your chin on the mat, palms facing up. Lift, 
Your chin, lift your arms and lift your legs. Engage your glutes. Don't go high, just go long. Nice. Exhale, hands on the ground, turn your head to the left. Take your knees from side to side. Nice. And then bring your hands next to your chest. Hug your elbows in. Good. Low cobra, engage your pelvic floor, lift your knees, toes on the ground, look forward, or medium cobra, like my fingers in between your shoulder blades, elbows are bent, look up, and then exhale, come on through. Bend your knees in now, exhale, walk or float to the front of the mat, come to flat back. Nice. Exhale, fold top of your head faces the mat. Inhale, sweep your arms up, power up your legs. Exhale, hands to your heart. Good. Step your left leg back. So crescent lunge or warrior one. Crescent lunge is more of a balance. So you gotta squeeze your legs together. Lift off your hips, lengthen. So you're facing the front of your mat. You're not facing me, you're facing the front of your mat. Yes. So press in your legs, squeeze your legs together. Nice. And then sweep your arms up. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale, pull your heart through, engage your spine. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale, good. Hands down, good. Bring your hands behind you like your shoulder blades together. Straighten your right leg, maybe shorten your stance, and hold on about the hands. Pull your right hip back. Pull that right hip back, left hip forward, yep. And then you can keep your hands like this. You can hook your thumbs. Press off that back foot to come forward. Good. Press, make sure you put some weight in your inner left toe. Breathe. And then when you hit your destination, grab your shin or wherever you can reach. Some of you can reach the floor. Some of you, your hands are going to be on your thigh. Nice. Good. And then bend your knee. Hands to the mat. Come to downward facing dog. Good. Bend your knees, look forward, walk or float to the front of the mat. Come to flat back. Hold. Grab behind your head or grab your shoulders. Try both. See what feels better. Turn right and left and right and left. Good. And then let's sink into chair. Sweep your arms up. Good. Come all the way up to standing. Hands to your heart. Okay. Right leg back. Crescent lunge. Squeeze your legs together. Hips are facing the front of your mat. So if your hands were on your hips, your, everything would be facing forward. Nice. From here, we're going to work on a warrior three. Good. So shift and bring your arms like that half, that half citation, right? So engage your belly. And then shift a little forward, make your toes still on the ground. Good job, Vince. And then when you've got it, lift and reach your arms forward. Nice. And then if you can, bring your fingertips to the ground. If you bring your hands to the ground, it'll probably be too short. And just look at your right leg and turn it in. It's probably turned out and that's a standing split. And if you're like, you're a comedian, then you don't have to worry about it. Nice. And then both feet down, bend your knees, chair pose. And then press all the way up. Let's do the other side. So step your left foot back. So let's set up correctly. If you want to take a wider stance, you can do that. Hands on your hips. Everything's facing the front of your mat. Good. And press into your feet. Lengthen your spine. Lengthen your neck. Hands on your hips. Good. Then shift and engage your core here. If you want to, you can hold a block. 
like we do in half, and we kind of flat back. And then shift, see if you can keep your arms in line with your shoulders, lift that back leg. Press into the standing leg. If you need to have a little bend in your standing leg, you can. And then fingertips to the floor. So you're not putting weight in your fingers. Engage your low belly. Press that left leg back. Look underneath and see that your toe is pointing down. Nice. And then left foot next to right. Good. Come to flat back. Come to chair pose. And then press all the way up. Good job. Hands to your heart. Nice. Let's do some warrior two. But before we do, take your right leg over your left. Hands on your hips. Lift your heart. And then fold. So have a little bend in that front knee and press that left leg into the right. So you should get a nice stretch in your outer right hip. So just squeeze your legs together. Your hands will end up where they end up. Nice. Inhale, come back up. Left foot on top of right. Squeeze and lift. Feel all this engagement. And then exhale, fold. Nice. And then press all the way up. Good. Step your feet wide. And let's come into warrior two. So look at your right foot, make sure it's parallel with the mat. Yes. And then look at your back foot, your left foot. Make sure that it's, that your heel is lined up with the center of your back foot. Yes, and then kick it out a little bit, like don't bother me, like a little sassy. Yeah, Melissa, Melissa knows what's up. And then, uh, yeah, and you keep your legs straight, good idea. Ignore me completely. Okay, and then let's, uh, Hands next to your chest. Good. Pull your arms out. Look at your fingers and breathe. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Keep your focus. Exhale. Good. And then straighten your front leg. Bring your left hand on your hip and just reach this right arm forward. Feel the engagement of your whole side core, right? Good, come back up and do that again. Reach forward. Come back up. One more. Reach forward. Good. Come back up. And then I want to stretch this a little more before we do half moon. So toes in, facing each other, hands on your hips, and let them just, just bend your right knee, straighten your left leg. I want you to feel a stretch in your inner thigh. Yep, and then bend your left knee, straighten your right leg. So, yep, good. And then bend and stretch. Nice. And bend and stretch. Nice. Good, come back up and we'll do the same thing on the other side. So warrior two on the other side. Left foot in line with the mat. Right heel, left heel lines up at the center of your back foot, kick your heel out. And then drop into your version of warrior two. So press in your legs, lengthen through your spine, elbows next to your body, reach your arms up. Good. And then gaze at your left fingers, hands up or down, depending on your shoulders, and breathe. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Good. Straighten your left leg, right hand on your hip. Core engagement. So put your hand on this right hip extensor, feel this engage. Reach that left arm forward. I'm going to shorten my stance a little bit. And then just come forward. Feel all of this engaged. Left side, right side. Come back up. Come forward. Feel everything engaged. Good job. Come back up. One more time. Come forward. Nice. Come back up. Good. And then we're going to just switch to the other side. And I am doing that because... 
this is my easier side <laughs> and no other reason. So now we're going to take this into half moon. So if you go against the wall, go against the wall. If you use a block, use a block. But let's do it nice and slow so we have the same engagement. So right heel, the center of your left foot, it should be kind of set up. Block in your right hand if you're using it. Left hand on your head. Lengthen through your spine. Press off your back foot. Bend your front knee. Shift. And then fingertips to the ground. Feel all of this engage, both sides of your body. Everything engages. Spin your chest towards the sky. And then bring that left leg up. Press away. If you've got it, bring that left arm up. If you want, you can bend your back leg. If you think I'm crazy, don't worry about it. Nice. And then exhale from all the way down. Good job. Toes in, heels out. Let's do this one more time. Bend, so go slow. Maybe even open the left heel. And then bend your left knee, open your right heel. So everybody's got areas that they're better, including me. And everybody's got areas that aren't as good. So take in what you're doing well. And know that there are some things that are going to work for you and some that aren't, or you're going to just work on it. Some of this stuff is pretty hard. Okay, left heel goes up to the center of your right foot. Press off your back foot and lengthen. So feel all this engage. Good. Bend your left knee and shift that left arm forward. All this is engaging. Engage your right hip. Shift. So now your toes are just on the ground and then bring that left hand down. Spin your chest towards the sky. Yes. And then press to standing. Nice. Good. Maybe bring that right arm up. Maybe bend that back leg. Nice. And then exhale, release. So this not, might not work for your body today, Susan, especially if your back hurts, so don't worry about it. Come on out. Good job, you guys. Awesome. Let's go down to the floor. Thought I'd never say that, huh? Uh, let's go back to that malasana. Hopefully this will make up for me, do, make me do half moon, Susan. You won't do so. Good, so just press near your thighs. Nice. Okay. And then let's plop on down. And we're gonna do some more front of abs. We'll do some boat pose. So press near your toes, lift your heart. Fingertips can be on the mat. Have your knees bent. Lift your arms, or maybe have your legs straight. Not if you have back issues. Five, four, three, two, one, good. Feet together, lift your heart. Crawl it on forward. Okay, next one. Hands behind you, lift your heart. Add your legs. Good. If you can add your arms, then do that. If you can straighten your legs, do that. Maybe come all the way down. Nice. And then make your way onto your back, hug your knees in your chest. Good job. And then let's bring your knees in, hands behind your head, lift your head. And then either bring your right elbow to your left leg and hang there with your hands behind your head. Or reach your arms to the outside of your left leg. Engage your belly. Nice. Come back to center. Switch sides. So either your hands are behind your head, protecting your neck. Maybe your right hand's there, your left arm's into your right leg, or both arms and your shoulders are lifted. And then exhale, come on down, hug your knees into your chest. Good, all right, let's do that one more time. So hands behind your head, maybe just start with lift and lengthen your neck. Bring your chest towards your legs. And then bring that right elbow to the inside of your left leg. Keep your hands behind your head or release your hands out to the left. Keeping your neck long. Good, come back to center. And then switch sides. Five, 
four, three, two, one. Hug your knees in your chest. Wow, that was a lot. Nice. And then let's press in your feet and just lift your hips up to a mellow back bend just to get a nice stretch on your belly. Nice, exhale, come on down. Hug your knees in your chest. Okay, and then rock on up or make your way up. Good. And we're gonna come into, so we're all just gonna do this much of malasana. So I want you to lift your chest and just hook your elbows underneath your knees. Otherwise, skip this and just do boat pose. But just to get a sense, like just to pull your elbows into your thighs, hands on the mat, you're still engaging your belly. And then you can go for crow or take a break. So if you're going for crow, I'm gonna bother, uh, I'm gonna bother Debbie. So just do a little bow or take a break, yes. So keep your hips low and just go forward, Debbie. Go forward, not up. Get your buns a little lower. Nice. Nice, Aoko. Yep, look more forward. Look more forward, Aoko. Yes. Look at you, Melissa, you maniac. Farzane, you maniac. You're flying. Nice. So even if you're not doing it, um, yeah, you're going to need to roll after this, huh, Amanda? <laughs> Is your neck okay? Okay. All right. That was just fun. A little bit of sassiness. Okay. Good. Let's make our way and do another, um, let's do another, uh, what is it called? Back bend, sorry. All right, so make your way onto your back. Press into your feet, press into your arms. If your low back bothers you, just come up to a neutral level. So don't bring your hips past your knees. If your back is good, bring your hips all the way up. You can grab the sides of the mat. You can interlace your arms underneath you. Press in your shoulders, lift. Nice, and then release your hands, come all the way down. Nice. And then take your right ankle on your left knee, pull your knee in towards your chest. So try and do this with your hip flexors. And if you wanna take regular pigeon right now, you can, but I'm gonna do it on my back. And then just interlace your hands underneath your left shin. Press your right thigh away. Send your left leg up towards the sky. Nice. And then bring your left foot into the mat. Take some hip circles and we'll switch sides. Because I know people are doing different things, so. Good, feet into the mat, left ankle on your right knee. Use your hip flexors to bring it in. So press that left knee away as you pull your right knee towards you. So counter stretch. And then just use your hands to grab under, around your right thigh or on top of your right shin. So feel that engagement. Good. And then right leg up towards the sky. Breathe. Nice, exhale, release. Hug your knees in your chest, take some hip circles. Nice. And then make your way over to the side. And we're gonna do um, some camel pose that I really like. So I'm gonna say before we do, come into a seated position. I'm gonna open up our shoulders a little bit more. So lift up tall. Good. And then bring your right arm in front of you, making a fist. You don't have to sit like this. I just 
one and two. So you can sit however is comfortable for you. And then bring that right elbow up and bring it into your back. So you're making a fist. It's not a stretch. It's more like a stretch with end range, end range strength. Press your head into your arm. Good. Take that left hand like a sword. Bring it behind you. Bend your elbow. Press it into your back. Press your head into your arm. Okay. So making that fist really engaging, engaging. Nice. Exhale, release. Shake it out. Good. And then we'll switch sides. So left arm goes forward. Engage your low belly. Lengthen your spine. And then left arm goes up and behind you, making a fist. Press your head into your arm. Good. Right arm in front of you, make a fist. Take it behind you. So you're not trying to reach. You're not trying to, uh, you're trying to just press with your fist into your back. You're sort of strengthening while you're stretching. Nice. And then exhale, release. Awesome. And then let's make our way on up into prep for um, camel. So this first one, tuck your toes under, squeeze your buns. And if you have low back issues, you're not going to go that far. I just want you to take your arms behind you again. So you feel like if I, my finger was in between your shoulder blades. And then take your hands to your low back. Keep those elbows hung towards each other. Good. So hold on, hold on, uh, Amanda. Go slower. Come back up. Good. I want you to lengthen your neck towards the ceiling first. And then go back like a weevil. And then just, yes. Nice. Squeeze your elbows. Good. So if you have low back issues, you're just going to go to here. Come back up. Sit down. So we'll do it again. I promise we can go deeper if you want to. But if you do this pose without going too deep and you have low back issues, it's still a great back bend. Good, so come back up. Tuck your toes or not, if this is easy for you, you don't have to. Squeeze your buns, lengthen your neck towards the sky. Good, take your hands behind you. Pull your shoulder blades towards each other and then grab your hips and maybe you stay here, lift and lengthen or reach your hands back to grab your heels. So that same nice, hugging your shoulder blades together. Who do you think you are, Deborah Rauscher? Good job. And then exhale, release, child's pose. Good job. Nice. And then make your way onto your belly. And then we're going to come onto our forearms. So press in your elbows and your wrists again. Lift your heart. Good. And then lift your knees. Good. And then turn to the left side. Come onto your side. So if this is too easy for you, you can stack your legs. So we don't do a lot of, we don't do enough side body in this class. Or you can just reach that right foot up, or out, right arm up. Lengthen to your side body. Nice. Exhale, come back to center. Good job. And then let's turn your right elbow in. So maybe it'd be easier if you sit like this. So turn your right elbow in. Press in that elbow, open up your shoulder blade. And then lift your hips. Maybe take that left leg out. Maybe take it up. Maybe stack your feet. Whatever's appropriate for your body. Keep your chest open. Nice. Exhale. Come back down. Good. And then bring your chest to the mat. Bend your knees. Go from side to side. Good job. All right, and let's just do that one more time. Okay, so come on to your left side. Let's just start there. I want your elbow a little bit above your shoulder. You can bend your knees, stack your hips, press in the elbow, press in the arm, lift your hips. Maybe you take your right leg straight. Maybe you stack both your feet. 
Make sure your elbow is above your shoulder, though. So, Amanda, I would just come on down. I bring your, you don't have to do it again, but I bring your shoulder, your elbow above your shoulder. I don't want it underneath, I want it above it. So, you don't have to do it again, but I just, I don't want you to hurt yourself. So, sorry, if you've been on up, you can come on down. Good. So, bring your elbow a little bit higher on that side, a little bit farther away. Yeah, now come on up. Yes. So other side, bring your arm across the mat. Oh, you don't have to flip, Pat. I just had to flip so you can see me. Good, and then lift. Lift your hips, maybe lift your top leg. Maybe lift both legs. Make sure you're leaning more forward than back. Good job. Exhale, release. Nice. Make your way onto your back. Give yourself a hug. We did a lot of core engagement today. So good job. We're gonna take a happy baby. Nice. And then send your feet up towards the sky. So I'm gonna say, I think I've said this before, my uh, teacher training that I just finished, he doesn't like shoulder stand uh, because of all the neck, neck wrists. So if you're not doing it, don't feel bad about it. And if you love it, that's fine too. But if it's not great for your neck, then don't worry about reaching it. So either just engage your belly, keep your feet up, or if you're pressing on up, I want your feet over your, that was too fast, Amanda, go back up. I want your feet over your elbows and your elbows over your hips. So bring your feet farther away from you a little bit. Yeah, engage your belly, engage your glutes, try and press it straight up. Press in your shoulder blades, protect your neck. And then bring your feet towards your face, wherever you are. Nice, press in your shoulder blades. Nice. And then make your way all the way to the ground, one vertebrae at a time. Feet to the mat. Send your right leg up towards the sky. Nice. We did a lot of hamstrings today, so I'm going to end with one more hip thing. So right knee on top of left, hug them both in, grab your shins. Or if you can't reach your shins, don't worry about it. You can use, um, you can use a strap. Or if you're more open, grab lower on your legs. And then take your hands out to the side and twist over to the left. And then one more time, come back to your spine. So elongate through your spine. Try and get that right shoulder blade on the mat. Breathe, come back to your breath. And then come back to center, hug your knees and your chest. Bring your feet back onto the floor. Take your left knee on top of your right knee, so knee on knee. Because we already did ankle on knee, but if you need to do that again, that's okay. And then bring your knees in using your legs, not using your arms. And then if you want to grab your knees, grab your shins. So knees is probably the most Accessible, and if you can't reach your knees, use a strap. So kind of giving yourself a hug. Nice, and then hands out to the side, twist over to the right. Try and keep that left shoulder blade on the mat. And if this is too intense, a twist and unhook that top leg and just stack it on top of your leg. Lengthen through your belly, feel that elongation in your spine. Release anything you need to let go. And then exhale, come back to center. Hug your knees to your chest. And then just come into your version of your final resting pose. So maybe your feet, if you have low back issues, maybe your feet are wide, your knees are just hugging in. Maybe the soles of your feet are together and your knees are out to the side. 
Maybe you're just flopping your legs and your arms out. So we did a lot of core strengthening today. So your body might be talking to you. Feel your body settling down. Come back to your breath. And then just notice the sound of your breath. You can count your breath. You can feel your breath. And notice your body connected with the mat, grounded and settled. And then with all this core strength that you utilize today, bring that to whatever your intention is. Knowing that you've strengthened a full cylinder of your core, your lower abs, your side body, your back body. Settle in and just feel spacious. Let go of anything that went well and anything that didn't go well. It's done now that you showed up. And then gently turn to one side, hugging your knees to your chest. Feeling in this feeling of strength that you can bring to whatever you want to do with it. And then gently pressing on up to a comfortable seated position, bringing your hands to your heart. Thank you all so much for your amazing practice. And I hope to see you again soon. Susan Bay, I'd love to check in with you.